It comes after powerful earthquakes hit the island, destroying homes and leaving many homeless. A lot of people still do not have electricity or access to running water. News 6 reporter Ezzy Castro has been in Puerto Rico since Tuesday. Tonight she is on the southwest side of the island near Ponce in the city of Guayanilla. And people there say they are still feeling tremors. And Ezzy, you say even though people are now in refugee camps and dealing with a whole lot, they are still in good spirits. That's exactly right. They're trying to stay busy out here. A moment ago, we just saw a man giving out roses to women, just giving them a smile on their face. And just a couple of hours ago as well, we saw a group of gentlemen playing dominoes at the park. So seriously, people here are just trying to do the normal thing. But one thing that hasn't changed is the fear of returning back home. My toilet break down the clothes, the stairwell. The, the wall is cracked. Wilmer Galarza says there is nowhere for him to go after his home was damaged during Tuesday's 6.4 earthquake. He's staying right here in this refuge camp in Guayanilla, where more than 500 people are staying for now. And where have you sleep? Show me where you've been sleeping. Show me. Right here. Right here. I got my luggage, everything here. Tal vez you want me to give me a blanket. Residents have been camping here since Tuesday. They tell us they'd rather sleep out of their homes since they can still feel the aftershocks. No, no quiero volver a la casa. No, I don't want to go back to the house. I told my husband I don't want to go back, said Betsy Velasquez. On ground, the National Guard, food trucks handing out meals and access to medical supplies. We have a uh, uh, mobile unit uh, is deployed on, on the mountains and in the farms where people are living just in their cars, tents between their cars. Though some people are staying busy by playing games and overall staying in good spirits. So the aftershocks continue here where we're at right now in Guayanilla. We felt one about an hour and a half ago, but overall, again, things do appear uh, more normal today than yesterday for sure. Now coming up at 530, we're going to show you a local historic church that was just completely destroyed. Very powerful to see. Live in Guayanilla, Puerto Rico, Ezzy Castro getting results, news say.